In this Blader tutorial, we are going to see how to group test cases and how to run the group of test cases. So basically, we will see how to create a single group in Playwright and how to create multiple groups and how to execute the group of test cases we will see using the Playwright. So here I will navigate to the VS Code now. And here I will create a simple spec file now. So here I will say group.spec.js. So that's it guys. And here I will go to the one of the spec file and simply I will copy the one automation test and I'll paste it inside the group spec file. So that's it guys. So let's modify the test name as test1. So right now we have the only one test. So I will take the copy of this test and I will create a another test. So basically I'm creating the duplicate of first test. So here I, I will give the name as test2. So that's it guys. So this is a very common spec file you have seen already how to create a spec file and how to create the playwright test. Now let's see how to create a groups. So we have to use the describe function to create the groups. So here I'm using the test object followed by here I'm calling the describe function. So inside the describe function, we have to provide the group name. So here I'm giving the first group name group name as smoke testing. And followed by that, I will simply give the function. That's the arrow function. Simply I will close and simply I will close and open. Sorry, here I'm just opening and closing the flower brackets. That's it, guys. So we have created a one group now. So similarly, we can create the another group. So here I'm creating another group called sanity testing. That's it, guys. Now I will come back and I will take this test one and test two and I will put into the smoke testing bucket. So that's it, guys. So let me format this particular test. And what I will do is so we have added two automation tests into the smoke testing bucket. Now let's create one test under the sanity testing group as well. So I will take the copy of this test and I'll paste it inside the sanity testing group. So here I will re rename the test name as test three. So that's it guys. So we have created the one group called smoke testing and the second group as sanity testing. So smoke testing is having two test cases and sanity testing is having only one test. So now I will go to the testing. So here I will just go to the spec file what we have just created. So here I'm opening the spec file that's a group.spec.js file. And if you see here guys, we have the two groups. One is smoke testing and another one is sanity testing. So if you see here guys, test one and test two is belonging to the smoke testing and a test, test three is belonging to the sanity testing. So in the real time project, you can put the multiple tests into the group and based on the need or based on the demand, you can go and execute the group of test cases. So simply I will trigger the smoke testing test cases. So it will execute test one and test two. The first test is getting executed. Now already it is launched the second test case execution. And if you see here guys, so it has executed the smoke testing group and that contains two tests. Those are getting passed. And in the similar way, we can trigger the sanity testing also. So it opens the URL and it will validates the some of the things in this web page and it will wait for some time. Then it will close as the browser, right? So if you see here guys, one test was there inside the sanity testing group and that test is getting passed. 
So this is how you can create the groups and execute it from the playwright.